this is Nomi Shan and the Raw Gourmet. Uh, on my last uh, video, I made applesauce. And I realized, gosh, I made more applesauce than I'd probably want to eat in a day. I've actually got four cups here. So I thought before I left, I'd ask my videographer to turn the video machine back on again. And I will show you how to make uh, the filling for my applesauce pie. It's called the best applesauce pie. And this is my first recipe for applesauce. What I'm going to do is I'm And to make the pie recipe, First of all, I want it to be sweeter, and I want it to have more cinnamon. But most important, it needs to be thicker, because how could you ever slice through something that's like this? Well, you can't. It's, it's, still, it's still applesauce. So I'm going to thicken it as well. So first I'll add more cinnamon. And then the part of the thickening process and part of the sweetening process is um, dates and um, raisins. Now, the original recipe is using 10 to 12 apples. Uh, I said in the book, peeled and cored, but I, I don't peel them, and, uh, but I don't include the seeds. Cut in chunks. Two cups of dates, preferably medjool dates, pitted, and one cup of raisins, along with cinnamon and what I'm going to use to thicken it with, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, this measures uh, approximately what um, four apples would make, or five apples, so I've cut this in half. We don't want to make it too, too sweet. But this is pretty sweet, actually. This is a very sweet dessert. Well, this is a special occasion dessert. So I want to incorporate the dates and the raisins before I add the thickener. Because I'm terribly attached to this blender and because it's an expensive machine, I always press the pulse button first. This is a slightly older model. Um, the more modern or recent model looks like this. Actually, the company changes the, uh, uh, the, uh, this section quite often, but it's computer driven. So this on the older model is pulse, and pulse is uh, here on this model. Uh, because it's an expensive machine, I don't like to ask the blades or the motor to do too much, so I always pulse first. I think you might have noticed that, no matter what I'm doing. And when the uh, blades have engaged, then I hit it and put it on the highest speed, and I just let it rip. So pulse, pulse, it's been engaged, it started to break up, and then I go... So this is a pie. I don't want people getting chunks of skin or anything like that, that wouldn't be a pleasant surprise. So it's pretty well pureed, the little bits are skin. So I like to see that all those little bits are incorporated and each of them are as small as can be. And that's pretty much at that stage now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken it with psyllium. Uh, people have started to use Irish moss to thicken their recipes. Uh, it started with Cafe Gratitude up in Northern California doing that, and it seems like a good thing to do, but I'm going to be honest with you, um, I haven't proven to myself that large amounts of Irish moss are okay to take, to ingest. So, um, I'm still using psyllium, although if you're using Irish moss, you know, experiment with how much it takes. As a matter of fact, if you make my best applesauce pie in my recipe book, The Raw Gourmet, and you use Irish moss, send me an email and tell me how much you uh, to how much you used because I'd be interested. So when I uh, start experimenting with it more, I'll, I'll know what to use in it. The reason I like psyllium long before Irish moss, I, I did this recipe, made this recipe up, is it doesn't fl do any kind of flavor. Um, you could have it, it, it successfully as thickened with flax seeds, but flax seeds definitely give it a flavor that you don't want. The psyllium is quite neutral, and yes, psyllium is used in, in colon cleansing products, but what you do for that is you just mix the psyllium with water and drink it, and it thickens in, in your stomach and sweeps through your colon. But by putting it in moist food, it thickens in the food, and it doesn't have the same effect then uh, uh, it, for the culinary purposes. So I like to add psyllium slowly. immediately before it thickens because um, 
It's difficult to work with once it thickens. So there we go. And uh, once it doesn't have to go to the refrigerator to thicken, but um, you might as well because it is made out of pureed apples. And you will be able to serve this the same way you would serve a slice of pie. Only each person will receive their own ramekin of yummy, sweet applesauce pie. So, that was a quick one for today. Something else you can do when you're making applesauce. This is Nomi Shen and the Raw Gourmet, rawgourmet.com, your raw food diet.com. Have a great day.